summa la tu saluna yo maizin an in naim the meaning of summa then the meaning of la tu saluna surely you will be asked the meaning of yo maizin that day the meaning of an in naim about the players or about the blessings the meaning of the aya then you will surely be asked that day about players or blessings of allah or then on that day you will be called to account for all the bounties you enjoyed or then on that day you shall be questioned about your worldly favors then on that day you will be questioned concerning the worldly blessings that we have given to you we gave you this and this and what did you do there is a deed that no human being will go away that he will be made to stand before the lord for that accountability unless he is questioned about the following you will be questioned regarding your age where did you spend it and in what business and in what occupation uh, what were you doing especially about your youth when you were full of energy where did you pass that period of life you will be questioned about the wealth where did you get it through permissible means or haram means did you spend it for the need, needy or cause of allah or in right ways or you spent your wealth in luxuries to show off your wealth you will be questioned you will be questioned how much you practiced what you learned you kept on learning and learning and built libraries of knowledge in your brain but not practicing it then this knowledge will be used as witness against you you read the quran but did not practice it the word summa or then in this sentence does not mean that accountability will be held after the culprits have been cast into hell but it means then we give you the news that you will be questioned about these comforts of life and obviously this questioning will be held at the time of accountability in the divine court its main argument is that in several hadith it has been reported from the prophet peace be upon him that the believers and disbelievers both will have to account for the blessings granted by allah during their stay in the world however the people who did not show ingratitude but spent their lives as grateful servants of allah will come out successful from the accountability and those who proved thankless to Allah for his blessings and committed ingratitude by word or by deed or both will emerge as failures Jabir bin Abdullah says the prophet peace be upon him once visited us and we served him with fresh dates and gave him cool water to drink thereupon he said these are the blessings about which you will be questioned Abu Huraira has reported that Prophet peace be upon him once asked Hazrat Abu Bakr radhiyallahu anhu and Hazrat Umar radhiyallahu anhu to accompany him to the place of Abu Haytham bin Al Tahyan Ansari and thus he took them to the oasis of Ibn Al Tahyan the latter brought a bunch of dates and placed it before them the prophet peace be upon him said why didn't you pluck the dates yourself He said I thought you would yourself select and eat dates of your choice so they ate the dates and drank cool water at the end prophet peace be upon him said by Allah in whose hand is my life this is the blessings about which you will be questioned on the resurrection day the cool shade the cool dates the cool water these hadith make it explicit that not only the disbelievers but the righteous believers too will be questioned as for the blessings which allah has bestowed on man they are unlimited and countless these are the many blessing of which man is not even conscious allah says in surah ibrahim ayat number 34 wa atakum min kulli ma saltumuhu وَإِن تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْصُوهَا إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَظَلُومٌ كَفَّارٌ And he gave you from all you asked of him, and if you should count the favor of Allah, you could not enumerate them. Indeed, mankind is most unjust and ungrateful. 
countless of the blessings of Allah that he has granted directly to man a large number of these are the blessings with man is granted through his own skill and endeavor about the blessings that accrue to man in consequences on labor and skill he will have to render an account as to how he acquired them and in what ways he spent them in respect of the blessings directly bestowed by allah he will have to give an account as to how he used them and in respect of all the blessings on the whole he will have to tell whether he had acknowledged those blessings that have been granted by allah and whether he had expressed gratitude for them to allah with his heart by his words and by his deeds or whether he thought he had received all that accidentally or as a gift from many gods man wants to earn more and more so that he may accumulate more and more material assets he remain immersed in that th- in he, he remain immersed in that th- thought till the day he dies after his death man realizes that what was worth accumulating was something else but the realization after the death will be of no use any increase in worldly goods increases a man's accountability but man in his foolishness thinks that he is adding to his success